welcome back to my channel and welcome at the back and welcome back to my planet series we are kind of almost done i think it's only um i think three more planets to go and pluto but we're gonna talk about that later today is saturn i hope that's the right way to pronounce saturn English is not my first language. If I pronounce it weird, tell me in the comments down below how to pronounce it right and I try my very best. We are working still with the Galaxy Sheet Palette by BH Cosmetics because it kind of provides a lot of different shades for a lot of different planets and that's what we're gonna do today. And today it's this one. It's this nice yellowy shade which actually does not appear yellow. So don't be afraid, you don't have to run around with yellow eyeshadow. Not that that's a bad thing but it's very unusual thing I would say. You don't see a lot of yellow eyeshadows often. So we're gonna start off not with the Galaxy Sheet palette, we're gonna start off with the chocolate bar, the semi-sweet, semi-sweet, I can't talk today, the semi-sweet chocolate bar by Too Faced. I'm going to use today this color mousse, uh, I, I don't know, the mirror kind of reflects everything, the color here, mousse and the mixture with uh, this one which is called truffle. I'm going to mix those two colors together and going to blend it in the crease with a big fluffy blending brush. That's what I normally do. So, we're done with the crease. So yeah, see, I can I gave it a little bit some sort of a shadow so it's not too too bright. And now I'm taking a quite big eyeshadow brush, which is something like this. And I'm dipping into Saturn. The thing is, it looks yellow, but there are some red spots in it. And you want to mix them together because this makes this wonderful peachy color that we're going to apply all over whoa, the eyelid. Just like this. And go over the brow and mix it together so it's kind of a nice transition. We're gonna go over with the blending brush again later so it doesn't look too harsh. And try to get a very opaque application because this color tends to be a little sheer and we want really opaque. Okay, you can take your blending brush again and go over your crease again so you blend together the colors very nicely. But in my case it actually quite looks good on this eye, not so much on this. So we have to blend again, blend again, blend again. I'm doing the window wiping motion, this is the best way I think to do. And I'm still blending a little bit on the brown, it looks a little harsh up here. Okay, I think it looks good. Okay, I think it looks good. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. So, we're almost done with eyeshadow, at least on the upper lid. So, we're gonna go start off with the eyeliner because I feel like that's the most tricky part. And if we mess up, you don't have to redo a lot of steps, just a few ones. You need two eyeliners, a black one and the gray one. Mine's are both by P2. It's the Luminous Eyeliner Pen. They look like this. You can't see a single damn thing. Okay, right? And these are in the colors Pure Black and Pearl Taupe. We're starting off with the black one and you're doing a simple eyeliner. Just your normal eyeliner, not strong, winged out. Just a small kind of tiny flick, that's all you need. And um, then we're gonna go over it with the gray one. Okay, so I think I got it. As you can see, I made a little mess over here, but that's okay, we're gonna clean that up later. Next step, gray one. We're going to do another eye line over the black one. Try to get a good connection on the side, so it's one pointy edge. And, um, oh, this needs to dry. And um, we're gonna stack them. That's basically what we're gonna do. And I hope the gray one is a little bit fuller than the black one, so let's try. Okay, while my eyeliner is drying, we're trying to clean up like some mess that you may have done just like me. I'm taking a very, um, you know, dense concealer, which means it's in a stick form. And I'm taking an angled stiff brush. Mine is by Sephora and it's the one that's called 22. It's an eyeliner bl br blush, blush brush, you know what I mean, an eyeliner brush. And I'm going to, you know, take the concealer onto the brush like this. You make it seem like these. And I'm cleaning the mess up just so I could take this and boom. Okay, time to take care of the lower lash line. I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil. 
Mine is by Urban Decay, it's the Perversion Pencil. Mine is super short already, but it's still a good one. And I'm applying this on the waterline. So you're gonna go inside here like this, and boom. And really go to the outside, so it kind of connects with the eye line from the upper line. Does anybody know what I'm talking about today? I'm so complicated. Almost done, we're going to apply some more eyeshadow on the lower lash line, which is the saturated color from the Galaxy Chic palette again. I would take a more small brush this time, maybe something like a pencil brush, that's a good one. And I'll blend it just around the lower lash line. So we're done with the eyeshadow, we're going to curl the lashes and apply some mascara. Then with the eyes onto the face, um, I don't do a lot of uh, contouring with this look because I feel like the eyes are quite prominent. So I'm only taking some highlighter. Today I'm doing the Moonstone Highlighter by Becker and it's this gorgeous, I don't even know what to call it. Is it golden or peachy? It's, it's, I don't know, but it's a great color. I'm taking my fan brush, something like this. Dipping it in and like onto the cheekbones. So here we are. That looks good. A little bit on the cupid bow. No, it's not there. Maybe a smaller fan brush will help. This one. Okay, let's move on to lips. I'm going to do some purple lipstick this time. I'm using, um, it's actually an eyeliner because I don't have a purple lip liner. This one's by Manhattan and it's the X-Act eyeliner in the color, does it have a color? Uh, no, actually it doesn't. I, I don't know which one it is. No number, no color, it's just, hmm, purple, this one. And I'm going to align my lips with this one. Okay, lip line is done. And I'm gonna go over with a lipstick by Trend It Up. This one is in the color 035 Shiny and it's a quite peachy, corally color. So I'm gonna go over it with this. And mix it again. And then I'm taking the purple one again. And I'm trying to mix together like this. Like go in there and I'm hmm hmm hmm. So, and here we are. Here we have my Saturn look. I do kind of like it. It's a little bit, you know, um, in remembrance of the rings, you know, multiple rings, multiple layers of eyeliner. That's kind of the idea where it came from, I guess. And um, that's what I came up with. I, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And um, I hope I can, you know, make a little bit button where you just can subscribe right here. I don't know if I can, I try to, and uh, if not, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye! There are a lot of bugs climbing up my window from outside. They all want to come in, I don't know why.